I'm staying in France at my sister's house uh, and um, it's absolutely glorious, the weather is beautiful. We've just been picking fruit from my sister's trees and I'm going to show you how to make a fruit tart, a lovely apple and plum and pear tart. Okay, so follow me. Hi guys, now, now we're ready to make the apple tart. So I have, I have one that um, I made, I've made already, a nice big um, apple, juicy apple tart, uh, and it's made on a little bit of puff pastry. It's really delicious and very easy to make. So let's get started. So the ingredients for the apple tart are, are, are basic puff pastry, and in French it's called a pâté frilette. Okay, uh, so you can buy this in the supermarket and ours would just say puff pastry back at home. We also need some butter uh, and this is a salted butter which I quite like, a little bit of salt and the apples is quite nice and, and some sugar. Okay, now what I'm going to show you to do first of all is the type of tin that would make this type of tart on. I'm going to be using a pizza tray. Uh, again, it has a little holes at the bottom and that's so that the pastry can cook from underneath. So I'm going to take the pastry tray. Now, unfortunately, I'm having to improvise because I don't have any um, baking paper or parchment paper. So I'm going to be using tin foil. Now, so you can improvise. There's lots of things in the kitchen. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So to basically take a piece of tin foil and fit it into your little tray. And your tray can be any shape. It doesn't have to be a pizza tin. Any kind of um, shallow baking tin will do. So we'll fit this, the tin foil round, like this, just to lighten the tray so that the pastry doesn't burn at the bottom and it can easily come out of the tin. So I'm going to fit that round like that, very much improvising, but it will work. Okay. Now, just to make sure that the, the pastry doesn't stick, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. So just use a little bit of um, kitchen, um, kitchen roll. Take a little bit of butter and just rub the butter around just to grease the tin a little bit. Try not to rip it. Grease the tin just so the pastry doesn't stick. Now if you have pieces of paper, obviously you don't have to do this. But nice and easy. So we're improvising and making do with what we have in the kitchen. So there we have our lined tin ready for our pastry. Okay, so now I'm going to make um, and line the pastry uh, tin and using the patty filet or the puff pastry. And this one, we're very fortunate, this one is already rolled into us, uh, prepared in a circle. So if an, your puff pastry isn't um, um, already prepared in a circle, all you have to do is to um, roll it out and using your rolling pin, uh, you're going to turn your pastry round, which I've shown you in class how to do, uh, to get a nice circle shape. Or if your tin's an oblong, you keep your pastry an oblong, for obvious reasons. Right, so here we have this beautiful circle. All we have to do now is lift the tin. And I'm going to turn this upside down, like that, fit it on, and peel my pastry back. And I'm going to fit it into the tin. Now, because it's quite warm here, Things are getting a bit sticky. But the waste, bring that back onto here, and I'm going to put this right. Lift your pastry and fill your tin all the way round. And I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes. I'm going to put it into the fridge so it cools and um, the pastry sets into the tin just while I prepare our apples under fruit. So there we go, that's the pastry tin already aligned and ready for the apples. So now that we've prepared our tin, we're now going to start the apple preparation. Uh, now the ingredients for um, preparing and making the apples is first of all we need some sugar. So in France it's called sucre en poudre, okay, and some butter, French is le beurre, and les pommes for the apples. Now, we picked these apples earlier this morning. Okay, so we have, these are Granny Smith's apples. 
and they're lovely and fresh as you know just freshly picked so we're going to peel them so we use our vegetable peeler and I also have a nice little plantation so I'm going to show you what to do peel each apple now in class what we like to do is see who can get the longest piece of apple skin it's a bit of a competition in class when we do this um I don't always win it but I do sometimes uh, so you watch me do this and see how long this one can be and then when you do it at home you have a go and oh oh no i'm still there oh that's me cut it nice so that's the length of my apple skin to see if you can beat that okay i'll leave that at the side okay so i'm going to finish off peeling the apple now to make this tart i use i think four four large granny smith apples um but I would always buy five, just in case, depending on the size of your um, your tin and your pastry book. Okay, so take each apple. Now, this is a real skill, and I'd like you to watch how you do this. So take your apple, and I'm going to half your apple, place it flat on the table, find the core, quarter your apple, and then you're going to take the core out like that. Nice and easy. Core out like that. Find the core, half, quarter, excuse me, and take the core out, core out. Now, I'm ready for the apple preparation. So, take your fingers and keep them well back, and you're going to cut this into really lovely thin slices. Right, and I'm going to show you how thin I'd like these ap apple slices to be. Nice and thin, okay? Work your apple so that you can, you can manage it. Keep your, your fingers well back when you do it. Fingers back. Okay, okay. Now, apple oxidizes once you've peeled the skin back and the air is starting to get at it. So you have to use some lemon juice. Sprinkle the lemon juice over the apple and the acidity stops the oxida oxygenation of the apples okay now you're going to prepare and cut another three or four apples so you go ahead and do that and I'm going to show you how to finish this off. so now we have four apples already peeled and cut and thinly sliced and now what I'm going to do is show you how to line your tart okay I'm going to just a few pips there I'm going to make sure they don't go into the tart get rid of them now, you have to work quite quickly because you can see the apples go brown very, very fast. So we're going to start off at the top edge and we're going to go, I always go anti-clockwise, but you can go clockwise depending how you prefer to work. I'm going to go down like this, layering the apple like this, all the way around. And keep going. It takes a little while to get it done. It's actually quite um, a nice activity to do. So we keep going round, following the curve or the angle of your tin, depending on what shape you have. Just keep filling them. And we're on the second layer, the inner layer, and we do the exact same again, working our way round. Now we're in the inner layer of our circle, and we just keep following round. Filling it up. I've used four apples here. I think I'm going to make it. I suppose it depends on the size of your, your apples. Um, but if they were small, I would maybe use five or six. I've used four large ones. So here we have our, our apple tart lined with all our apples. And now we're going to finish it off. So take um, your sugar, and I'm going to use 450 ml spoons of sugar. And I'm going to sprinkle the sugar lovingly all around the tart. Got this. And one more. Now it's quite a lot of sugar. You need it. And one little tiny bit of sugar into the pot. Now, to finish it off, we have to add some butter. So we're going to use um, about 50 grams of butter. And I'm going to cut it into little cubes. And I'm going to sprinkle the butter just around the tart like this. 
this will create a lovely sugary, buttery base and a luxurious taste. Thank you. Now, you can just close off the pastry edges like this, just bring them down a little bit to create more of a pie. Pull that round. Like that. Okay, and that will close us the pie. Like this. And that's it done. And that's it ready for the oven. So we put it into the oven, a preheated a preheated oven, 180 um, uh, gas mark four um, for about 20 to 25 minutes. So check after 20, it should be lovely and golden brown. And we'll pull out the oven at that time. We'll have a look at it and see if it's ready. So here we are, our finished apple tart. So this is cooked at 180 degrees centigrade. Um, gas mark four for 20 to 25 minutes. Lovely golden brown pastry, as you can see, and the apples have a lovely golden um, and slightly burnt texture to it. Lovely. So what we to finish it off now, we are going to sprinkle some sugar. Um, and here, here we go. Some feathered sugar on top, and it slightly caramelizes in the heat. Maybe add just a little bit more, so it's probably about six spoonfuls in total. And now just to finish it off, I'm going to serve it with some beautiful um, cream fraiche. Uh, you can use double cream or separate with double cream or custard, whatever you prefer. Uh, in France, it can be quite tricky when you're buying cream. Uh, you have to make sure that you buy cream that has 30% um, fat in it for it to be double cream. Uh, but this is delicious with cream fraiche. Now you can sprinkle your cream fraiche on top or you can just serve it, um, you can serve it on the side, however you like to do it. Absolutely delicious. And totally nutritious. Go on, have a go and enjoy. It's so easy to do. You don't need to be in France, you can do it in Glasgow. Go on, have a go.